Little did I know that Junior would become my forever car. It's hard to believe that 30 years later, I have still got her and she's got 350,000 miles on her chassis. At one point, I finally decided that Jenya needed a name and was looking for something that would incorporate her silver color, sort of that old sports car heritage. And what I decided, since I've always been fond of the old Mercedes Silver Arrow racers, is to do a homage to that name and name Jinya Silver Arrow in Japanese. In 2015, I decided to retire Jinya from daily driving. She was 25 years old and it seemed like it was the right time. Recently, I've started showing her at non-Miata car shows, and she's actually um, won a couple of awards at Monterey Car Week now through Classic Motorsports. One of the great things about the Miata community is it's so diverse, it's so inclusive. It's just an extraordinarily great group of folks to hang out with. So eventually I decided I wanted to explore more of an aviation theme in the interior of the car. And at that point, I knew of Revlimiter who specialized in producing beautiful gauge faces. I mean, he is an artist and decided to go with a set of gauges he calls Warbird that were inspired by old aircraft. At this point, I don't think there's much left to do on Jenny. She's really the car I want. As a kid, I saw a lot of British sports cars, mostly growing up in Europe, and I always loved the, just the idea of being top down in a two seat, and it also reminded me of flying in an open cockpit, and I thought it would be a blast, and of course it is, and continues to be a blast. And I can't think of any other way I would want to uh, drive my personal fun car. Before I bought Jinya, I, I already had a fondness for Mazda sports cars. My parents had had a R360 and later bought an RX-7, which is what I learned to drive stick on. Of course, it brings back memories of flying in the Navy, because I did buy it when I was flying in the Navy. Especially since it's an open cockpit car, it's almost like flying now when I'm driving her on the coast or, or back roads. It's, it's, there's a sense of freedom that I don't think you can get any other way except for flying a small aircraft. With all the handling modifications that have been made, including adding coilover shocks and having the car corner balanced, she handles like a dream. She's extremely agile, can take any curve you can throw at her and you know that she is going to respond in the way you want to. So really a dream car to drive. I've owned Jinya for 30 years now. As long as I can drive, I plan to keep her. So I hope that I get to drive for another 30 years and enjoy the freedom that she gives me. Oh,